me, my wife, our company, we sold over a million products in the US in the last 12 months, okay? So what I wanna say is, I don't have any marketing experience. I don't know why much about marketing, but my first taste of marketing was through this book, okay? The end of marketing as we know it, Sergio Zyman. This guy has sold billions and billions and billions of dollars in both Pepsi-Cola and Coca-Cola. The guy is a brilliant guy. Do I think Coca-Cola is a great product? No. But do I think this guy's a brilliant marketer? Yes. By the way, on the back, the executive vice president of Walt Disney Company says, no matter what industry you're in, Zyman's book is a must read. Listen, guys, I want to say something. There's one thing that matters uh, in the world of marketing, and this is what I got from this book. This is what I understood. Okay. One thing you need to sell. You need to sell shit. You need to sell it. You need to get people to want the thing. They buy it. If you don't do that, you're not doing a good job marketing. Your thing doesn't need to look beautiful. It doesn't look pretty. It's so funny. Sometimes I've seen some very successful uh, sellers online and they have like a really ugly picture or an ugly thing and it sells. But you know what? That's good marketing, guys. Dude, it, it's not about, it's not a designer's look. Okay. This guy, and I'll give you a little story from this book. Okay. That I think is very pertinent and why I think it's, you know, brilliant. Um, one of the many reasons. Uh, Sergio, he's going to, up to the CEO of, I think it's Coca-Cola, right? They just ran a Super Bowl ad. Okay, this Super Bowl ad was super famous. It had like all these huge topless A-list celebrities, like super, super famous guys. And they had this and someone kissed a ball and they signed someone's forehead and there was babies and there was fireworks and there was celebrities and like literally everybody in the advertising world gave this thing so many awards and like accolades. Like you are the best, the best ad of the century. And it was going nuts. Okay, every single person in the ad world loved this ad. The CEO love the ad the employees love everyone saying hey this ad is amazing Sergio well done you did an awesome job so he went and he saw the sales that week of coca-cola actually went down or they increased like a tiny bit it was it was a problem he's like hey this ad might be cool everybody loves it but it's a terrible ad the ad is horrible he said it's a terrible ad sales went down we're dropping it the CEO said there's no way in hell you're dropping that ad you know how many people tell us it's amazing or not they got into a fight so Sergio went up to the CEO and he said, all right, so you like the ad? Yes. So Sergio asked the CEO, all right, good, good, sir. That, that's good. Are you going to buy, are you, are you with your money going to buy 10 billion barrels of Coca-Cola? He goes, no, then it doesn't matter if you like it. We're taking it down. Oh, damn, mic drop, boom. You know why? Because it doesn't matter what you think, it's your customer. If you're, if it makes your customer buy your product, it is good. It is good marketing. I learned that from this book. This is how I got started in marketing. It wasn't marketing school. It wasn't learning from a professor. I learned directly from this dude. Selling billions of dollars, okay? Billions and billions of dollars. This is a good start, guys. If you want a foundation on how to advertise, how to sell things, this is a perfect book. Highly, highly recommended. Uh, and you can read the reviews on Amazon. They're like, oh, the reviews on Amazon, by the way. Oh, this guy's so arrogant. Uh, the Sergio, oh, he's so a nut to know it all. Da da da. Listen, you that are working, maybe maybe working at a wherever you're working at, you're gonna call this guy a know it all, and say that he's arrogant. He sold billions of dollars of product. Shit, if the guy's not arrogant, that might be a problem. Hey, after I sell a billion dollars of stuff, I'm gonna be like, this is how you sell it. And if you tell me something else, I'll be like, dude. I sold billions of dollars. Like, I think I know a little bit about selling. If you sold more than a billion or you sold close to me and you have a different strategy, I'll go learn from you. But the learning, this guy did the learning. He did the apprenticeships. He did the books. He did the work and found out what works and is now telling you, I hope he knows what he's talking about. And maybe you were going to think he's arrogant because he's saying, hey, if it's a bad ad, if you don't like it, drop your own feelings and listen to your customer. He's like, oh, that's so arrogant. I need to like my own product because it's my brand and da da da. Okay, don't learn from him then. Drop it off and move on. Don't hate on the guy. The guy knows how to sell billions of dollars. Either learn from how to sell billions or move on. Why are you wasting your time writing a one-star review? This guy is arrogant. Okay, I hope he's arrogant. He sold billions of dollars. I hope he know, learned something and he's, he's, he, he cared enough to write the book, guys. So don't hate on the guy. Learn what you can. Move on. I think it's a brilliant book. It has helped me. Uh, one of the top books I've read. And it was very nice. I'm so happy I had this book instead of college. So if you've had a bunch of misinformation, you think you're doing everything right, but nothing seems to sell. If you know everything about selling, but you can't sell, 
maybe you don't know something about selling, you should learn from Sergio. Okay, that's my book review. End of marketing as we know it. Get out on Amazon, leave a review. Leave a review, five stars. Say he's arrogant, but it's okay. Peace out, Aaron Cordovas.